Hey, what's going down, guys? It's your boy Trumps, and we are back with another episode of my team. And this guy is Bill Russell. Finally, I mean, we haven't played a legend or anyone even decent in a long time, but other than Bill Russell, his team sucks. And again, getting really bored with that, but a lot of you have been saying once you get into the fifth seed, uh, that's when you start playing actually some better teams. And I need one more win. Uh, just one more and then I finally get into the fifth seed really excited about that And I do have something planned for the fifth seed instead of getting another Superstar because I'm not just gonna keep buying superstar after superstar when we haven't even played another team that has Two superstars in a long ass time But let's get right into the game 4-4 we got LeBron running the floor We know what's coming up with him and McGee getting the oop early in the game trying to set a tone and again, this guy's team wasn't that good. He had Gerald Green. He was actually really good with Gerald Green. But look at LeBron crossing him over, acting like he's nothing. Getting right to the hole, getting an easy bucket. Kyrie run up the floor. And again, getting inside. Look how easy we're getting to the paint. LeBron wide open in the corner. He's missing that one. Look at McGee getting the board and giving it to Splitter. Could have went with an easy dunk, but showing Splitter some love. So 10-10. Now let's just go coast to coast. He's not stepping up or anything. Look at LeBron making it look too easy. That's If you're that big, that strong, no one's going to get in your way when you get ahead of steam going. Look at Smooth coming up with the big block, coming out of nowhere. Bellinelli thought he had a three. Beatrich passed up to Smooth. Oh, that at least got the foul. That was a terrible possession right there. And he's winning right now. That's the one thing that I actually hate, absolutely hate about playing bad teams when I have a good team. Is It's so hard to like even try at first because I just see another bad team and I, I'm just like, Man, this again, and then because it, it's so like honestly, I could just dominate with LeBron or Kobe or Drew, like any one of those guys, I could just take over with immediately and honestly just like own the guy. Like that's what I was doing in a lot of earlier videos, but lately a lot of my games have been close until the fourth quarter, and it's just I can't really deal with playing these bad teams just because it's it's just not fun. It's just too easy because I can beat anyone off the dribble in an isolation situation. And it's just, I just can't wait to play good teams to make my team fun. The last few games, all like, I'm not even having fun playing these type of teams. Just been trying to do a ton of oops and a ton of just crazy stuff that I usually don't. I mean, I do, but I mean, not as nearly as much. And just the simple fact that it's just, I'm trying to make the gameplay interesting just because a good majority of the time, it's just really hard for me to kind of play the game just because it's like I'm playing against all these bad type of teams when my team just completely dominates them. And again, we got the three-on-one going. Smith to Smooth with the reverse oop right there. Good job by Smooth. And look at him posing right after the oop. Smooth showing that swag right there. And look, he's running up the floor. And look at Beatrice getting the... Oh, we didn't even get the steal on that one. Don't give him that. Oh, look at Jay Smooth getting the steal. Jay Smooth posing and getting the steal. Let's give it up to Kobe doing a self-oop off the glass. And he's throwing it down. Kobe just showing up like a boss and Smooth posing. Kind of worried about his swag right there, and then he get, then he's gonna get the steal. Look at Bogans run up the floor. Look at Ki coming with him, popping that mid range. We're not gonna have to go to the basket. So we're up by six points, going coast to coast, up and under, nothing there. Let's give it. Oh McGee, oh pro honestly, should, just should have shot that with McGee because if he can hit it, this game we know 2K cheese. But look at the going right back to McGee with the oop, pick and roll oops. I don't really see too many people doing those. It's actually really hard to time it right, those pick and roll oops, just for the fact that they get caught on picks a whole lot. But that's the one thing I actually try to do a lot is pick and roll oops, just for the fact that I don't see many people doing them. But look at Drew throwing him the old lay right there, getting an easy bucket. We're running up the floor. Oh, I wish you would have tossed that to McGee, you Kyrie. Come on now. But again, he's making some runs. We get up by a little bit, kind of shut it, uh, stop playing as hard as we were. And then he kind of comes back, but then we pick it back up. It's just like basically this game was just a game of runs, like five or six point runs. But again, he's actually been playing crazy good with green right here. Look at him get right to the bucket. Oh, missed that one. Don't give him that. There we go. We're getting the steal by JR. Let's push it up right here. We got Jay Smooth to Kobe, and Kobe throwing it down. Man, the past few games, Kobe's been throwing down a ton of oops for us. He's running the floor. He's trying to show us that he's not as old as everyone thinks he is. Father time does not affect him like everyone else. So again, nine-point lead. Let's get a little play going on. We've been doing the fast break and pick and rolls. Let's get some plays going. Try to get an oop. Oh, that was a bad screen right there by Barnes. But at least Jason, we've got positioning inside, making it look too easy. So third quarter time winding down. See if we can get a little bit of shot clock cheese going on. Three seconds left. Kobe. There we go. He's hitting that every time. And Kobe, man, I'm loving Kobe. His 
I feel like his dribble, like he is, I feel like I have ankle breaker on with him, even though I, I mean, I don't, but I feel like I just, man, he's so easy, he gets separation so easily, and then his uh, just jump shot's crazy easy, it's like that medium style where it's not too short, not too long, even though it sounded really sexual, but his shot release is awesome, look at LeBron pump faking, getting right to the rim, making that a, what, we have an 8 point lead right now, oh my god, Kyrie, oh my, Jeez, he's old. He's almost. I don't know if that was him or Uncle Drew right there. I mean, his ankles were old. And look at Le Oh wow! At least we tried to redeem ourselves in LeBron. That would have actually been a, one of the dirtiest oops I've seen in a long time. That one-handed, what like 180 slash 360 kind of oop right here. And but I mean, K. I just got embarrassed. His ankles just got killed. Look at LeBron. Oh, did he just go between the legs? I got. I honestly thought he went between the legs right here. We got to see this in instant replay. Oh, that is disappointing. I honestly thought, like, when it was just happened, I thought he went between the legs. Like, it was crazy at first. Like, like when I first saw it, it was actually ridiculous. How I, because I, I swear he went between the legs, but then that replay just, I shouldn't have watched it. Just kind of crushed my dreams a little bit right there. But again, he's starting to foul. We're already in the bonus. Look at missing a free throw with LeBron. It's all right. We get it back for a three. He's ridiculous. Demon himself from downtown LeBron just showing up big right here. So gameplay just about over. Look at this guy. How many how many fought like he gets his ankles broken, but that was probably one of those like where you just fall on your own. But we gotta throw it down on him. We can't make him look like a bitch. And look at LeBron getting the steal. And you know, give it up to Kobe. Pass through two people's hands. And look at Kobe. How did he miss that? You man, we need more practice in my team. If Kobe and Kyrie think you score from under the basket. I don't know what we're doing. Like, that was just ridiculous. You know, Kobe, KI, we, we do need to get Uncle Drew in here to run as, run as a coach. And look at this. I don't know if Manu Ginobili is their coach, but look at all these fines that are going down right now for flopping. That's what, four? Man, Ginobili has to be his coach. No one can teach flops better than Ginobili. But thanks, guys, for watching. Catch you next episode. Peace.